What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. It's your boy, Chris D, a.k.a. Willy Wonka, a.k.a. Dewey Man, back in the motherfucking house. Back with another stream of consciousness. Today, I want to talk about that invisible noose that's around your neck if you live in the United States. Whether you realize it or not, there is an invisible noose around your neck and it's constantly getting tighter and tighter and tighter. What do I mean by that? Imagine if you work for a company and you've been with that company for six years, seven years. Whether you are a manager or if you like an associate, you depend on that job to pay your bills. You depend on that job to go on a, go to the strip club on the weekends and to put gas in your car and to go to the grocery store and buy them hungry man dinners and them 10 pizzas for $5. Big ass case of ramen noodles, some Mountain Dew. It's only because of that job that you have that allows you to buy those things, to do those things, to kick it with your boys and buy weed and pills and drink and all that shit. Only reason you can do that is because you had that legit job, which means you got to take a lot of shit when you in that space. Motherfucker might come to you and be like, hey, man, listen, I know that you had requested tomorrow off, but sorry, can't do it. You know, OK, boss. And guess what? Your ass ain't going on that trip you thought you was going on, is he? Guess you ain't going to the casino that weekend. They do that to you because they know that ain't shit you can do about it. They got that noose around your neck. The fuck you gonna do? Quit? And hang yourself? That's basically what you're doing if you quit your job. Hanging yourself. Now you can't pay your rent. Can't pay your rent, you lose your apartment. Can't pay your car note, lose your car. And what happened when it all comes down? Who's there to, who's gonna be there to help you out? You out there all by yourself. Now that might not apply to everybody that's listening to this. Some of y'all might have like some strong ass support systems and motherfuckers that you know give you ten thousand dollars to get back on your feet, no problem. Some of y'all might be like that, but I was never like that. <laughs> I don't know too many people that are. So there's that noose around our neck. Well, around your neck. Whenever you work for somebody else, doing what somebody else tells you to do, you're always at the whims of that company or individual. Even if you work, even if you were like a personal assistant for some famous celebrity, if that motherfucker would get up in his ass one day that he tired of you and he just fire you, all that shit stop immediately. Now you got to sign the non-disclosure shits and you can't even talk about the shit. So whatever you made, you made. But now that shit is over. It's done. Let's say you make YouTube videos. And you paying your rent, paying your house, paying your car. No, you done got used to them YouTube checks. And then somebody find out something fucked up about your past and you get canceled. Or you do something goofy and fuck up and you get canceled. So now they done, uh, you done lost, you losing thousands of subscribers by the day. Money going down. That's that news. That news, man. You got to create certain type of content because that's what people expect from you or you have to do the same goofy type of prank videos or drama videos or uh, beef videos and you're going back and forth with people. It's that news, man. It's like it's very difficult to recognize it. If you overweight, that's a noose too. 
and it's getting tighter every day because you you not it's not like you're going on a diet it's not like you're on a diet right now it's not like you're trying to get healthy it's not like you're trying to eat better you still got them hungry man dinners and little caesar's pizzas and mcdonald's milkshakes and burger king double cheese with extra fries large milkshake type shits So it's not like you're trying to get healthier. You got that noose around your neck too, man. And that weight, that's a tough one, man. Because it robs you of the ability to live your best life. When I speak on the, end, on the invisible noose, what I'm speaking on are these things that are killing us slowly that's stopping us from being who we want to be the truest realest purest version of ourselves the person that we strive to be on our birthdays where can't nothing go wrong and the whole day is just a good day and everybody's happy when they see you and happy birthday and man, you looking good today and thank you. And I hope you have a great day. And it's like, everybody's nice. And then we go back to our normal lives, right? Like the day after. Well, what if life was just like that? Like, what if you was just living in your truth, living in, in as much of a righteousness way as possible, not on some religious fanatic shit, not on some goofy third eye trans, trans, I was going to say transvestite. <laughs> I meant to say transdescent, transdescent, is that the word? <laughs> I wasn't talking about no transvestites. I was talking about like when you step out of your body, like and you go into the astral projection. Like what is that? Uh, transcendental. Holy shit! <laughs> transcendental. <laughs> I ain't talking about none of that goofy shit either. <laughs> I'm talking about just living your best version of yourself. It's very difficult to do in the United States. Somebody going to call you goofy or weird or corny. <laughs> or somebody going to check you like, yo, well, man, what the fuck is this? What the, what the fuck is this, man? You can't be doing that. It's like there's all of these barriers and obstacles that keep you boxed in into whatever role it is that they assign to you or that you assign to yourself. Whether that's the woke guy that, that posts the shit on Facebook, you still got a noose around your neck. Whether you, the uh, sister, got a hair salon and this and that and the other, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, there's very few people, whether you're the gangster in L.A. or, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever that role is, think about how limited and boxed in the lives are of the people that you know. And it's like how everybody is like in their own little cells, on their own little hamster wheels. Some pedaling faster than others, but everybody not even looking at the other person. They so busy, focused on, on their little shit. And then like imagine one day you just step off that bike and be like, man, this is stupid. <laughs> and you just like walk out of there. <laughs> and it's like every once in a while, you'll look back in that room and you'll see everybody like arguing and fussing and somebody yelling you, what the fuck you looking at? You're like, yo, my bad. Nothing. <laughs> that's, that's, that's like them hate videos that I get. <laughs> it's like somebody yelling at me from inside the room on a bicycle. The fuck you looking at, new? Nothing, man, nothing, man, nothing. I'm not looking at nothing. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just think that a lot of brothers are living very quiet, desperate lives. That they're not happy 
in the role that they've assigned themselves or they're not happy in the role society has assigned to them and they screaming on the inside. And I think that's why a lot of brothers want to come to the Dominican Republic. Because it's one of the few places where you see people that look like you, but you don't have to be the version of you around your people, if that makes any sense. You're comfortable because the people look like you. But you notice that the men smile. The men shake hands and hug and and there's no they don't care what color you wear. They don't care what set you claim and what neighborhood you live in. If you're a good guy, you're just a good guy. And that's what they judge you on. I don't know, man. Maybe I was talking crazy on this particular stream of consciousness, but I hope that resonated with somebody. Hope that helps somebody. And try to remove that invisible noose off your neck. All right? All right. That's all I got for this week, fellas. Hope you have a good one. Catch you on the next one. Peace.